I've come to Edinburgh to meet Professor Jeff Palmer, one of the world's most respected scientists working in grain and cereals. He's broken almost every stereotype going. He was born in the same part of Jamaica as my mother and has encountered poverty, racism and some of the educational difficulties I have. I want to find out how he has coped with and overcome these challenges and how he became a legend in the brewing industry. So, uh, this place is just full of liquids and you are responsible for a lot of this. Tell us, what, what do we have here? Well, what we have here is a gallery of whiskies. Right. If I said that when I was five years old in, in Jamaica, mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought what I want to be is a grain scientist and end up in this room. It would Bluff. be a lie. <laughs> a lot of it is accident. This is, to me, surprising and wonderful. How old were you when you came here? 14. 14. And nearly 15. I was one month. Right. And that one month has made the difference. Had I been 15 when I arrived, yeah. I, I wouldn't be here because basically my mother, quite cunningly, had got me a job um, in a grocery shop right. the day after I arrived. When she was about to take me to work at seven o'clock in the morning, I was stopped by a man at the door saying, you know, to my mother, this boy is only 14 years and 11 months, not 15, so he had to go to school. So you went to school? And so I was I... struggling because I had no formal education before that. I, I found an interest in biology. I was going to the Polytechnic once a week but I was doing all the, the sort of homework mm -hmm. with a full-time job. And I was still living in one room with my mother. Mm. And by 1961, I had four A-levels and mm. eight O-levels. You must have had some challenges just in terms of your race alone. Have you ever come across, you know, real straightforward, hard and old racism? I, well, you know, for example, I wanted really to do a master's. And he said, I think you'd be better off going back to where you come from and planting bananas. Wow. <laughs> and I then looked at him and said, um, yes, um, as far as I know, there are no bananas in hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, of course, I didn't get it. Yeah. However, I saw yeah. an advert for a PhD um, opportunity in Edinburgh. Mm. And I applied and I came up to this city. My link with this industry, when I look around, started in 1968. Uh. Um, I'd finished my PhD on barley, and I went to the Brewing Research Foundation, this elite institution. Mm -hmm. um, there wasn't even a black person in Red Hill, mm -hmm. much less in the Research Institute. Mm -hmm. And the, this was my first big break. Right. I want to inspire lots of young people, especially black people, to be like you. What do I tell them? I realised early that if I'm going to defend myself in, in, in any society, mm. I need to be able to reason. Yes. What you need to tell the kids, that's what I told my kids, I want to educate you because I want you to be able to defend yourself. What's going to happen is people are going to be watching this program all over the world, <laughs> and there's one question they want to know is, do you drink this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs>